Hello, this is Landon Rivers. Today I wanted to show you how to maintain a consistent map scale between different sizes of your maps. To show you what I'm talking about, taking a look at my own world of Emeo, you see I've got a map scale here that goes out to 600 miles. Then when we zoom in on our continent Rayam, it has its own scale that goes out to 200 miles from the 600, but it's still at the same scale. And we, we, we zoom in a little bit more into the northwestern region, and it has its own scale that goes out to 100, still consistent. We zoom in on this little island, the Isles of Nagaf, and it has its own scale that goes out to 80, and we zoom in on the Rimarazi Island, and it's got its own scale, it's all the same. And so I just wanted to show you how I maintain that same scale across every map. So to keep it simple, um, what I'm going to do for this exercise is just zoom in on another area here. I'm going to zoom in on the Tertiac Rough Lens that I've got. So uh, to do that, I'm going to open up just a new Wonder Draft map and then directly go into Overlay, select a new image, and navigate to my um, map that I had made. And it would be in here, Nagaf R. There it is. So now we've got the, the map here, and we've got a little bit of an overlay. It's at a scale of uh, 1 right now. And now I want to just up the scale a little bit to an amount that I think would encompass the area that I want to work on. So if I want to get all of the Turgic Rufflins, um, and a good amount of it, I mean, I could even go up to 4 for this size of this map. That'll that'll be that'll cover quite a bit. I mean, I could just go out here, have the map scale a little bit to the left, just just like that. And so um, now I, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a trace of it. This isn't necessary, but just to kind of um, show you what it looks like when it's done, I'm just gonna trace the coastline really roughly um, to keep it all consistent. And I'm not gonna color this in perfectly. But, uh, yeah, just a little bit like that. So this is uh, the Tertiac Rough Lens zoomed in four times. And so now we need to make a map scale for it that is consistent with all of our other maps. Well, the good thing is, is that uh, we've got scales in all of our other maps. And we can move around the overlay. So I'm going to do just that. Uh, just left click and you can drag around your overlay. And look, now I'm just going to where I have the scale. And say I want the scale to go out to eh, just about 20 miles. That would be good. So I'm going to create a new map scale. Just like that. It's a little tiny guy. And uh, I'm going to set the segments to be 1. And I'm, now all it is is a case of just messing with this width variable right here. So say I wanted to set it to uh, about 1500. And we can see that when I line it up to this uh, 20 mile segment. It's a little bit too much. I'm going to go back a little bit. So what if I set it to uh, 1400? Still a little bit too much. Try a 1300. Getting there. Now I'm going to try a 275. How about that? And yeah, it's barely there. 280. 280. I got my money on 280. 285. Does do I hear a 285? That would be it. So it's, it takes a little bit of fiddling around, but uh, now I'm going to also increase the height a little bit to a 40, make it a little thicker. And now all I'm going to do is just add some segments to it, add uh, four segments to it. And so now that we know that it's consistent with the scales that we've had in our other maps, these four segments totaling up to 20 would be five miles per each segment. So I just change the segment distance to be five. I increase the font size to maybe 40 or 50 or whatever, make the font whatever I want it to be. And there we have our scale. And so if I just clear out the image, then now we've got a map which has a scale that is consistent with everything else, and we can continue to work on the rest of it. So that's all there really is to it. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions besides this. I'm happy to help out.